is uh, a celebration of churches all over the globe who come together on the first Sunday of Lent and they say, you know what? This is Josh with Living Soul Fest, and what I wanted to uh, talk about with you for the next couple of minutes was me and Kim Jones spent um, set up uh, festival itself and tear down, um, interviewing uh, volunteers, staff, and artists um, about Soul Fest, about the times that they've been to previous Soul Fests, you know that sort of thing, um, because we would like to continuously um, interview people throughout every Soul Fest that we go to. Um, so that we would have footage to be able to make this webisode, this web show called Living Soul Fest, um, about, you know, the most recent footage of Soul Fest and so on. Right now, I am importing footage from, um, one of the cameras. I've still got a couple of more cameras to go. Um, and then we have to edit it up and all that into the segments that we had, you know, conceived of before filming, um, which are really cool ideas and all. And it present. We want to be able to present Soulfest in the best possible light. We want to be able to answer questions that people may have had. Are you are you um, thinking about volunteering? Are you thinking about being a patron? Are you thinking about this or that? Um, hopefully, Living Soulfest can clear up and answer those questions for you. Um, in the meantime, until all of that footage is in the computer and ready to go, I ha have footage from 2008, 2009, and 2010 that I'm going to be presenting in this episode and in a few more just to kind of, you know, kind of keep Living Soul Fest out there um, while I work on the editing of the new footage. And also, <clears throat> because I don't believe in wasted footage, and if it's in regards to Soul Fest or otherwise glorifies, you know, Christ and you know, lifts him up and brings people in to the fold as Christians and all. I don't see any reason why even old footage can't come out newly, even though, you know, it's a couple of years old. Um, so with that in mind, um, here is, I believe I'm going to be throwing some um, from the revival stage in 2010. Um, and I don't think there's going to be room because it's at least a five-minute clip and I like to end things at 10 minutes. Um, but what I'm going to be doing, like I said, old footage for now, and in a couple of weeks or a month, we'll start including the new interview footage from 2011, as well as new um, performance footage as well. So with that in mind, um, this here is the August. I'm not going to say it's new. I'm not going to say it's revamped. I'm not going to say we're starting over. What I'm going to say instead is simply we're continuing on. This is August 2011's um, Living Soul Fest. At least one of them. I might make a few. Who knows? One is going to be for sale in our neighborhood. So we are looking for 100,000 churches this year around the globe. We've partnered with YWAM. You guys familiar with YWAM Youth of the Mission? We partnered with YWAM, over 180 countries, churches everywhere from Pakistan to China, and uh, uh, just really excited about what's happening. And uh, if you are interested in having your church sign up to, uh, to participate in Freedom Sunday, you can go right over to the booth and see Mr. Kevin Austin. He yeah. is the director of our Underground Church Network right over here. And I see there's oranges Last right there. Right? Right? It's hard to miss them in orange. They're either crossing guards or work for not for sale. One of the two. Yeah. So uh, go over there and see them and let them know that you are interested. You guys like DC Talk? Yeah. Which one should I be in? We're going to rip one of their songs off and, and blues it up a little bit. This is a song called In the Light. Yeah, that's two. I'm in two.